Everybody, Mark with Northstar here. A little trick with the uh, waypoint information on the Garmin perspective. What I'm going to do here is I want to take the big knob to the right. I'm going to select the waypoint chapter. I want airport information. So you can see it has Concord Regional in there, and I want to get the information for Fort Lauderdale Executive, which is my destination. So there's a couple ways I can do that. I can push in on the knob here. I'll bring my cursor up. I can come down here, I could key it in. So, Kilo Foxtrot X ray Echo. Or I could turn the knobs here. I could select different things up here. There's a better way to do it. Best way to do this, since it is already in my flight plan, is to come down here, take the little knob, turn it one click to the left. You do one click to the left. Roger, you can expect I'll bring a, a drop down uh, box up. Here, which is a little bit further away from the international airport. Which is going to give you items in your flight plan. 683. Nearest airports, recent airports, or user defined waypoints. So I, I want to Fort Lauderdale Executive, so I'm going to go down, highlight it, and hit enter. There's Fort Lauderdale Executive. So again, the little knob, one click to the left, brings a drop down box. If you do little knob, one click to the right, that's when you start changing the letters. So if you accidentally do that, all you have to do is press clear one time, and it'll bring the, the full cursor box up. So I'll show you that. I'm gonna go one click to the right by mistake this time. Highlights that so it would allow me to change it. But to fix it, all I have to do is press clear one time. That brings my box up. Little knob, one click to the left, brings my drop down box. And then I can highlight the airport that I want.